Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. If it's your very first time clicking on one of my videos, I am Nadia Mara and today I am going to be talking about when love is a scam, how to know when people are using you for their financial gain and for sex. But before I do that, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has always supported my channel. I finally reached a thousand subscribers and I am so, so happy. I feel so motivated. So I just want you guys to know I appreciate you all very much and I hope you keep on watching my videos to help my channel grow. So I am going to speak from a lady's perspective, but guys, you can watch this video too, because you can pick up some of these signs, you know, if you're in a relationship, you know, when you meet somebody and like you have a great connection, everything's going fine. You might even think you're falling in love with this person, but then you start seeing some signs and behavior that just make you question if they are genuine. Okay. Just that little voice that keeps on telling you that something isn't right you may even try and ignore it but mm -mm, it doesn't happen the signs to look out for if someone is using you for their financial gain especially if you've just got into a relationship with them is when they start asking you for favors and for money there's nothing wrong with helping somebody out you know people go through problems but when it becomes a habit and they expect you to look after their whole well-being okay that is a huge red flag i am not your mother or father so i don't have to look after you especially if you've not invested a penny in a relationship okay because it's a give and take it's not all about taking from somebody because that person would just end up resenting you my friend said to me there's two things i don't allow a guy to take from me and that is my time and also my money and i agree she said my money i work very hard for it and my time is valuable so i give it to people that i know value me as well and that's how it should be and i always say to people if you really want to know if someone is using you for money especially if they're always asking you for money just say no just one time just try it and you would see how they would just flip on you their whole character would just change their tone of voice they might even start ignoring your phone calls they might be very very aggressive to you verbally so these are the signs that you have to look out for because when you get into a relationship you would expect people to get to know each other but some guys will pretend they will come into your life and they will pretend like they really care about you they will ask you a lot of personal questions you know about what you do what kind of job how much you earn if you like it they'll get you to really trust them okay because they're trying to build a picture of who you are to you know to basically see if they can try and use you for money and once you've trusted them and then they'll start with little little favors they'll keep on asking and then they will just drop the biggest bomb and you'll be thinking huh why do i have to give you money when you get into a relationship know your boundaries set your boundaries don't reveal too much about yourself so soon don't say what your occupation is how much money you make what your daily routine is you know get to know the person to know if they're worth your time because sooner or later these people their true character does come out and you just always have to make sure you don't reveal too much about yourself and definitely don't sleep with them too soon because guys once they get that part of you they move on to the next. We know when a guy is using us for sex because in our quiet moments, we'll question ourselves like, oh, is he using me for sex? Yes, he is because he doesn't invest his time in the relationship. He only comes around to have sex with you. You probably don't know any of his friends. You probably never met any of his family. You probably don't even know where he lives. The only relationship that you have with this guy is in your bedroom. So that is your answer. He's only using you for sex. When a guy likes you, he wants to take you out. He wants to spend quality time with you, not just about sex. He wants you to meet his friends his family that is how you know that someone wants to take a relationship to the next level but if you're always in the bedroom then that's your answer 
there's some women that feel like if they spend their money on a guy you know buy them nice gifts take them on holiday that guy is going to love them no money cannot buy love it just doesn't work okay once you've invested your money in that person that guy he's probably looking after his family or another woman don't be a fool in love people that get scammed online i know some people be like oh how can you let it happen didn't you notice the signs but what you have to understand unless you're in that position these are real criminals like they're real scammers they know how to just set up a relationship to make it look real and once they get what they wanted they disappear they'll probably you know deactivate their account their email number changed everything and you would just not believe it because like you would think why would someone want to do that but they invest their time to get exactly what they want from you especially if it's a financial gain and once they've got that mm. valentine's is round the corner there's going to be a lot of broken hearts there's going to be a lot of happy couples but the proof is always in the pudding you would know what position you play in his life i remember years ago in london i was coming with my boyfriend at the time from having a meal somewhere in west london and we were on the tube and i remember this so vividly there was this woman there she was talking she was all happy you know with this guy but the guy just wasn't engaging in the conversation with her he looked very worried you know you could tell the difference but we got to my land you know and the doors open and just as the doors were about to shut he legged it he legged it and this woman was just standing there because the door shut and she was in disbelief you know people were laughing some people were chuckling you know it was valentine's night and he probably had somewhere else to go so don't be a fool in love you would know your position when it comes to special occasions thanks for watching my video guys until next time take care and bye bye